Hello there everyone, this is I am Mark 3 and welcome back to MechWarrior Online. The giant stompy robot simulator where things just shoot each other to pieces for the heck of it. And speaking of big stompy robots, you might recognise this big stompy robot. Yes, it's the Grasshopper again. <laughs> and uh, once again, it is the Grasshopper GHR5H variant that I'll be taking for this walk today. Yeah, this this particular hopper has been gracing your screens for, well, quite a lot of these most recent weekends, to be quite honest. And in this case, I'm actually responding to suggestions by a commenter called Epix00. Shout out to you. You are the one to thank for F1 getting to see another grasshopper in action. This is, what, the third week in the row? Third video in three weekends? Well, ha! Joke's on you guys, because today there's going to be two videos, both of them featuring this grasshopper. <laughs> so, sucks for you, I guess. I will say this officially now, I will not be using this grasshopper again in my videos for a little while, just to give you guys a cooling off period, because even on the... Even on all of my other mechs combined, I never return to a mech in these weekend videos as often as this. So, there you go. That's why you've got a grasshopper today. Now, what's happened? Epix um, submitted two loadouts, which they thought I could put together with my gear. And I actually have everything required, so that's fine. But... The request is also for my thoughts on the playstyles involved, so that's why I've decided, hey, I'm going to respond to both of them. That's why there's going to be two videos. One of these is this loadout, and then the next video today is going to have a different loadout, just so you know. This one's going to be a sniper. The one in the next video is going to be more of a skirmisher type build. And I'm going to talk about them and talk your ears off in my usual ambling manner. For better or worse. Anyway, that's enough introduction. Let's get into the mech lab and show you what was asked of me. Okay, then here we go. This is a pretty standard sniper loadout, I think, based on the tech I had fitted and all that stuff. It's got a 295 engine, which propels it at 68.3, which is not too bad. Um, endo steel for the chassis, standard heat sinks, and standard armor. I know double heat sinks would be better, but. Quite frankly, I don't have the Seabills to readily refit to and from that kind of thing, so heat sinks are kind of like take it or leave it situation. But it does have 15 standard heat sinks on top of 10 heat sinks in the engine, which gives it a cooling rate of 1.29 out of 2. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I can't go just um, weapons blazing all over the place, but. That will let me cool off relatively quickly, so that's okay. That's a tolerable amount of heat. Also, armor's fairly thick, and 70 tons out of 70, 69 slots out of 78, so I can't up upgrade to ferrofibrous, even if I wanted to, <laughs> which I really don't. So yeah, that is that. <clears throat> now, the meat of this build is, its backup weaponry consists of a triad of medium lasers spread across all three torsos. And then its primary weapons are a pair of ER large lasers, which, because of how I've arranged them in the mech lab, are now sitting high on the shoulders right next to the cockpits. I hope you don't mind, Epics, but I actually swapped around your um, loadout a little bit, the order of things, because, you know, meta like that. I wanted the mediums at the waist, the ERs on the shoulders. But the biggest departure I've done is I've moved some heat sinks down. The submitted suggestion build had all the heat sinks in the side torsos. I've actually dropped them down to the legs because if I find myself fighting in water, that will cool me faster. Though on the flip side, my left and right torsos are not as well critically padded as they were before. Though they still have a lot of individual components to absorb critical hits, so that's all okay. And then lastly, for a bit of mobility, three jump jets give me a 22.6 jump distance, so yeah. This thing is pretty mobile. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, my throat's been acting up for a long time. Anyway, yeah. For modules, mech modules, I would suggest advanced zoom because this is a sniper loadout. I always want to use advanced zoom, but I never seem to have it. So 
Yeah, because I always spend my money on refitting for the videos, actually, so I never have enough seabills to just buy advanced zoom. Uh, I am actually quite sad about that, because I would love to have advanced zoom. But anyway, yeah. Advanced zoom, that's an important one. Just put that in there. And radar deprivation, I would say, is the second day one, but still my usual go-to, because, you know, I don't like being hit by missiles if I can avoid it. So, this is a big mech, it will soak a lot of missile damage. If you can shake the missile locks, that would be a good thing. For the weapon modules, eh, I would say ER laser cooldown. And then ER laser range. So, especially if you've got to advance zoom, ER laser range will be really useful to have. Make your lasers more effective at a greater distance. Or alternatively, if you don't want the range, just go for medium laser cooldown instead. So when something gets close, your lasers will fire a bit faster. And those are my two weapon picks for this loadout. Yep. Lastly, weapon groups. As you can see, group 1 fires both large lasers up here. Group 2, medium lasers along the waist. And then 3 and 4 I've got to set to the large lasers as well. But I'm going to set that so that it is um, in chain fire mode. So I can just fire off one large laser at a time. So that's it. if my heat gets too hot and I want to continue sniping, I can just fire one of them. Before having to duck up behind cover and cool off a little bit. But yeah, that's that. This is the Sniper Grasshopper loadout. And I'm going to see what kind of magic, shenanigans, and or unmitigated disasters will happen as I take this thing in. So here we go, Epix. So this video is for you. Let's sign some fights. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Command and ground troops, defend our base and assault the enemies. Well, here we go. Welcome to Caustic Valley. The game mode is, as you probably saw from those chat messages about people being less than impressed, Incursion. Let's just quickly set groups 3 and 4 to chain fire mode, so... That builds me up to 12% heat. 7, 5% heat for a single laser. Okay, that means two lasers is 10. And if I fire my backup weaponry, that's about 10 or 11%. So actually, this thing will run pretty cool. As you can, as you saw, the heat dropped back really quickly. So yeah, I'm not actually too worried about heat at all. And I can see why they are concerned about um, incursion. Light mechs just running in and giving your base. Yeah, that's a potential issue. But it also implies they weren't trying to go back and do it. Anyway, enough about that. Talking about the build. Or at least the playstyle. Because that was the question. How Target how do you acquired. find these playstyles? Um, I guess most people don't know this anymore because I've not really done it in a long time. But uh, my initial playstyle in MWO was actually Sniper. Yeah, I was originally a Sniper. My very first video was actually a Sniping Raven. With ER large lasers, no less. Right here. At 25%. Nope. And that was a waste of jump jets. I don't normally do pop darting, but you know. <laughs> Oop, there's something over there. Let's see. Oop, they're all over there. And this whole bunch of them right next to me as well. Back up. Ah! Missed me. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> Fair enough, you didn't. But I am not supposed to be out in front like this with... Um, my entire team, my entire team's gone into D6 for the most part. Yeah, I better follow them. Okay, sniping. The idea is you want to hang back and shoot all the things. That New that basically boils down. Okay. Shoot all the things. Preferably many attack. times over. Sniping is a really good way to get um, to get a bunch of extra C bills and things. Because if you inflict damage on something, you've assisted in killing that thing. Yeah, incoming. Ow. This is where radar deprivation would come in by handy, by the way. Incoming. Hide from the, all the... Oh, bloody hell, they're coming around the side. Part of my language. Ah! Get clear, get clear, get clear! Yeah, we clearly have a bunch of people in this that don't know how to play incursion. Left torso, critical they are just... Right yeah. Damage. Out the way, out the way, he's right turning to spread my damage. Okay, I'm, damage. I'm in cover. Yeah. 
Okay, I, I did some damage there, right. That's the problem, though, because um, sniping is best if you've got some kind of firing Incoming line going on. Acquired. If you don't have a firing line going on, you are in serious trouble. Oop, like that! Destroyed. Ow! Destroyed. Center torso, critical damage. Yeah, because my entire team pushed in, and so I'm getting completely and utterly ganked right now by this guy. And bang, there we go. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Snipers don't tend to do that much damage overall, especially if you're uh, not that good at it. Like I am. As I said I started out sniper, but then I kind of went to... Uh, New target acquired. Yeah. Play screen. Oh, look at this! Most of our heavy equipment is dead. I am completely unsurprised by that. People that complained about this game mode really don't know how to play it too well, do they? Yeah, guys, you're supposed to kill the enemy base, yes, but you're also supposed to react to what the enemy team is doing as well. Don't just charge in randomly, all Rambo style. That's how you get killed, as this um, one kill to seven shows. Anyway, yeah. Since that was bad, this particular video is going to be three matches. Roll on, match number two. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. Where's my all systems nominal, darn it? Uh, anyway, as you heard, eliminate all enemies, so welcome to skirmish mode. The map is Frozen City, and I am somewhat disgruntled. Not just by the fact I didn't get an all systems nominal, meaning my mech is no doubt faulty and about to fall apart from the seams. Now, um, the darnest thing is... I don't, I don't know who said that. Hmm. Oh, it looks like we're going to be... It was that guy. It looks like we're NASCARing. Right. Thanks. And there's enemies over that way, it seems, so... Boop! Oh, they're out of range. Oh, well. <laughs> it was worth a try. Um, yeah, the darnest thing, that last match, we actually won. And I am disgruntled at that. Especially because it works. <laughs> yeah. Um, I admit I'm not the best incursion player. I've only played, like, a couple of games of it in total, so very new to it. But the meta has already been established, it seems. Take out your enemy base fastest and you win. Flat out. So it encourages massive Rambo-style tactics. Yes, I can see you over there. And I can see you. Can't quite hit you, though. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I've got a supply cache out of it. And that even irks me more. So, hmm. And I was about to fire there. Oh, he's out of range. Just... I am barely in range, it seems. Yeah. Oh, well. Ow! I'm not in range of them, they are in range of me. Blooming ER large lasers. Target acquired. Anyway. Target yep. destroyed. Enough about that. Enough about that match which irritated me. On to the next big thing, which is going to be you. Hello. I hit you. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. This is um, a good batch for sniping because you've got this big open valley, plenty of space, and as you can see, someone's trying to snipe at me with AC2s. And I've been hit by a few of them as well. AC2s are really good at long distance, but I'm barely scratched, so yeah. Sniping in general. The role of the sniper is, as I mentioned in the last game, to poke out and yeah, hit... Yeah, the front, just play defensively for about 30 seconds. Yep, looks like we're moving around and flanking, okay. Um, the point of a sniper is to deal damage. Most matches, your units try and save their armor for when the close range fighting begins and their weaponry is truly in range to start kicking the opponent's teeth in. Uh, at least in theory. Hello over there. Flanking elements are almost there. I'm sniping across the valley, just keeping them honest. Accidentally fired my lasers, but yes, I am keeping them honest. 
And they do not seem to be happy about it. They are taking cover from me, which is leaving them ex... Yep. Yeah. Me keeping them honest here. I'm not doing much damage. They are far away. My lasers are doing minimum damage at best. But I'm making them hide Target from me, destroyed. which is keeping them out of position for my my teammates who have flanked and are hitting them on that side. So basically I'm taking pot shots of opportunity from across We're here. My damage rate is going to be really low, but I have helped by knocking the enemy out of position and distracting them. And that is a, absolutely fine. Oh, hello there. Yes, I saw you and damaged your arm. <laughs> Oh, he looks like he might be in a bit of trouble. Nope, he's backing up. He's fine. And hello, enemies. I see you. The enemies are half yeah, I'm, without the advanced zoom module, I'm not doing much over here. But anyway, snipers, unlike most mechs who are best later on in the match when the distances close in, they are meant to be engaging from the word go, as, or as soon as possible, basically. Because, you know those early parts of the game? That's where you're trying to lay the groundwork and reduce the enemy armor. Grasshopper, get in there, bud. Sorry, what'd you say? Gotta try to get in there. The team's gonna get rolled. Uh, there's a bunch of tonnage there, and they're really deep in it. Right, moving in so I can share armor. Yep, that was a call from some of my team elements. I was doing fine distracting, but it seems I need to take a more active role for them, so I'm moving in closer to help out. Time to start wading in and help, because apparently they've got tonnage advantage, the flankers are struggling. Um, this means I'll be relying more on my we mediums than my largers. We but we're doing okay, we are in the lead right now, but that, that call said that they have the tonnage, so I need to be moving in now. Anyway, yeah. Early game, you're trying to whittle down enemy armor before this big brawl gets started up. Once this big brawl, brawl begins, all weapons can use all... Sorry, all, all weapons can use all mechs. All we mechs can use all weapons. And that will help greatly. Clean up the survivors. Oops, yep. So, yep, I'm in here now, helping out. Um, I think it was the... Ola who suggested I move in because frankly the Ola is a light mech and wouldn't have the tonnage to wade in while the grasshopper is a heavy and can. Target acquired. So yeah, I am helping. Very much so. Target destroyed. <laughs> right. But yeah, the role of the sniper is well, wade in if you destroyed. need to, but you're trying to reduce the enemy armor while not losing your own team's armor. That's your main thing. You're just trying to support, you're trying to help, you're trying to trying to pick off the whoever's exposed or as you saw me sniping across the valley there keep them honest and distract them and stuff like that i mean i didn't kill anyone but i got eight kill assists and that is as it should be snipers if you're hanging back and sniping are not going to be getting that many kills for the most part but i got eight assists and got a, a fair amount of change out of that so you know that was good Apparently, I, I glanced across one of my teammates at one point, but I still did a fair bit of damage there. That was okay. Anyway, moving on. Final match and wrapping up this video. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Oh, it seems that's a fellow grass... No, that's a banshee. What am I on about? Sorry, the arm paneling threw me off. Anyway, welcome to Crimson Strait. The game mode is Assault. Kill the enemy base, but as we know, this always turns into a big skirmish. <laughs> so yeah. Um, E5 up top and, up top and waits. Um, yeah, that sounds good to me. And... Oh, we, we're down banshee, it seems. Uh, anyway... <clears throat> That's enough of that, let's move on. This is match three. In the previous two matches, I eventually managed to ramble on about the general principle of sniping in this game and the role it tends to take, i.e. Str stripping off enemy armor where possible while avoiding losing armor of your own, and also distracting and pulling your enemies out of position. 
because they've got to worry about being sniped by you, and that will make them have to take up less effective positions in an otherwise okay firing line kind of situation. Basically make them scared that you're there, and it will help your team at no end. But onto this loadout in particular, I, I think, um, if anything, this loadout could do with a bigger engine. It is a bit sluggish being a heavy mech. It carries decent backup weaponry in the form of the tri trio of medium lasers, and it has fair armour. Um, but really this mech is best at... Um, well, it's designed for ridge peeking and pop tarting. So using the jump jets to hop up. Oh yeah, I've got jump jets, haven't I? Target acquired. I, I keep forgetting. <laughs> That's why I don't tend to use them. I always forget I've actually got them fitted. But yeah, this thing is best for pop tarting. They like hop, hop a little bit. The um, top. Speaking of. Hello. Oh. Fuel at 25%. Yep. Right. Yeah. Fuel let let that recharge. Pop tarting or just peeking up on top over an top of a hill because expose your cockpit and two upper wet energy mounts and then cut loose with those and then back down again. Just using the ER lasers, this thing will not overheat at all. So you could probably trade out some heat sinks for other equipment. That's what I was just thinking. Target acquired. Oh, hello. So, yep, yeah, as you can see, oop, darn it. They, is being captured. they are trying to do things to me. I am trying to do things to them. Hello. Yep, he was waiting for me. <laughs> That's a bad idea when you're a sniper. Try to, if you know you've been marked, change you up a little bit. Oops. And I couldn't hit anything. Uh, at least with the grasshopper, it's got a really fast torso twist. So, hello there. Ow. And I peaked a bit too long. I've got incoming. <laughs> Look, there's a reason I'd stop playing sniper, okay? I'm not the best at it. Um, my playstyle has actually gravitated towards fire support as my primary role, rather than... Where's all that coming from? Rather than um, sniping. Oh, hello there. How are you? Yeah, you don't want to be open like that, because you're a good shot for a sniper, and I'm being hit from below. Definitely. I'm a big target, so, you know, <laughs> not the greatest. New but I am helping. Well, there's a mall down there. Is being captured. Our base is okay. It's only very, very small amounts being done to it, so it's not much there. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think that's my main problem with this build overall. It's uh, overly cooled, I would call it. And I, want, I need to be aware of that phoenix. Where is it? Over there. Oh, he's dropped down. Right. Was there something else up here? No, they're all down below. Okay. Right. Oh. And that's the other advantage, of course. I can peek over other mechs a bit more easily than most. But where are the enemies? I'm not sure anymore. We seem to have lost all cohesion right now. And yep, I saw you moving over there. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, hello. Hello, Archer, with your back turned to me. That's a great idea, by the way. <laughs> Come on. Look at me. And yeah, I'm only building heat when all of my weapons are being deployed. And that guy's back has got to be in trouble. And yep, there we go. The mediums are tipping it over. Quite badly, but his, his back is completely gutted. Heat level critical. Come on. At least with lasers, you're Heat level critical. more likely to hit something. Oh, I know his back is completely gutted, but yeah. Uh, he got away from me a bit, and now he's turned to face me, so I can expect some... Yep, return fire. <laughs> Though that was from someone else. My centre torso's a bit battered after that. But I'm also outside lock range, so I don't care. Okay, yeah. I would trade some heat sinks on this thing, get a bit more speed out of it. It's um, It doesn't quite have the mobility to be a decent sniper, all told. It's a bit sluggish. I would prefer a lighter, more mobile sniper. Uh, hello. Yeah, I think we're going to get a bit 
fucking rolled up here. Hello. Ow. <laughs> and I got gut punched, I think, by... Uh, what was that? Yeah, I got gut punched by SMM6s. That figures. But, as you saw, I had um, plenty of targets in that one. And I was hanging back and could see things quite easy from my vantage point. So I got a respectable amount of damage done. Sadly, though, it was mostly against that uh, archer, I think. So I was doing work. But the team got a bit rolled up. I think we got spread out and now we're just being overrun a bit at a time. But yeah. Overall, solid, solid sniping builds for lasers. Um, it's not the best, but that's partly the mech's fault. I would prefer a different mech chassis rather than the grasshopper for a sniper. Though you can't argue with those high mounted NG points on the shoulders. Those are great. What is this guy? Quad LBX code. Oh yeah. It seems to be struggling. And down it goes. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. All in all, I'm okay with that build. It's good. It's pretty good. Not quite what I would build, but then again, it's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And hopefully with this video, I have um, managed to talk you guys a bit through the basic principle of a sniper in MechWarrior Online. I'm not going to repeat it again because that would be redundant, but uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the show of me uh, <laughs> losing a lot. And using laser pointers and things. But yeah, this has been Iron Mark III. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. And I'll catch you all some other time. I'll see you all later.